urban transport in the city of Dar es Salaam has experienced a very big change. In a few couple of years, where we use the rudimentary and the small vehicles, which were not environmental friendly, well packed, very high jam, because there are so many in the street, it was really hectic. A person could take an average of two and a half to three hours from their normal residential to their central business district. At the time of ever-growing cities, such as Dar es Salaam in Tanzania, big data allows us to understand the city structure and the city behavior for demand-driven and data-driven mobility, analytics and urban mobility planning. However, the lack of reliable, efficient and, of course, dynamic data is one reason why we started this project. With the Data for Mobility project, we explore together with the key stakeholders for urban mobility planning here in Dar es Salaam already existing data. We are collecting new data based on our questions we have and needs and interests. We had the great chance to work together with the Space Enabled Group from MIT. With their expertise and their knowledge about how space technology can be used to make the possibility of reaching the SDGs easier, we were able not only to be introduced to the use of space technology in urban mobility planning, but also how do we use that data combine it with other data sources. Then we, we talk about sustainable urban mobility. There are three space technologies that can really be utilized. One is Earth observation, then navigation and positioning, and finally satellite communications. So really getting a bird's eye view or an astronaut's eye view of how people are moving around the city. And it's really integrating different data sources in, in one layered interactive map that the stakeholders can really put into use in a real world tangible way. We had an idea of whose stakeholders might be brought individuals together and then asked them those questions, ranging from not only what are the current pieces of data that you already have, but what are your pain points? Where do you see people struggling? Where do, what would you say are the issues that people are having? And then, shall we say, distilling that down to what data should look like. First of all, I have to appreciate uh, the introduction of the prototype we have seen because it's something which is bringing together all the data stakeholders within the city of Dar es Salaam. You know, it was quite interesting to see the prototype which you have uh, presented and uh, as it is having various layers where information can be captured but not only captured, being able to be accessed by various parties, various users, uh, right from the government agencies, the private sectors, general public, for them even to make some decisions while they're using transport systems. This is a very, very, very much important uh, initiative as it's going to bridge a gap of data which will make us make informed decisions while we're planning for transport systems in our cities.